Hi, I'm Richard Martin. I'm the Head of Innovation for the Payments Council. That's the organisation that runs the payment services in the UK. I'm also a guest lecturer at Royal Holloway on an information security course. The question I want you to consider today is, how well prepared do you think the sector that you work in is to fight cybercrime, particularly organised cybercrime? As one famous bank robber once said, attacks against banks uh, are good because that's where the money is. Now, if you look back over the last few years, one of the most notable uh, developments in cybercrime has been the entrance of organised criminal gangs into this activity. And if you look at it more closely, you will see that certain techniques such as phishing, information stealing malware, DNS hijacks, man in the browser type attacks, these are all developed by organised criminal gangs in order to attack remote banking services and to steal the money in victims' bank accounts. Over the years, banks have been engaged uh, in an ever-developing arms race against these organised criminal gangs, with one side developing better and more sophisticated attacks, and the other side developing harder and more effective defensive techniques to combat those attacks. We've now reached the point where these techniques have become extremely polished on either side. So the criminal gangs are, have developed extremely convincing social engineering techniques like phishing. The original phishing emails looked crude and horrible with lots of spelling and grammatical mistakes, but now they look almost identical to messages that you would expect to see from a real financial institution. Likewise, malware has evolved to the point where it is virtually bug-free, uh, keeps up to date with the latest patches that operating system vendors put out, and is extremely subtle in the way it works. Very difficult to spot, even for the best antivirus software. Um, and so banks have had to, again, up their own game in terms of understanding these threats and building proper defences that enable them to protect their clients' um, funds and protect their own reputations as well. However, we're now reaching the point where the sophistication of, of these defences by the banking industry has made it extremely challenging for criminal gangs to be able to turn a profit from their nefarious activities. So again, turning back to the very original question, what happens when criminal gangs start to see their profits declining from the financial services sector and start looking around everywhere else? And indeed, we've already started to see these types of attacks emerging in other sectors. We've seen attacks against online gaming, for example, or media organisations or internet service providers. Most of these attacks have been fairly amateurish by comparison to what we've seen in the financial services sector. And therefore, you would expect to see some rapid evolution over the next few months and years once the organised criminal gangs really get their act together and start turning their sophisticated arsenal of attack techniques against these other industry sectors. So again, my original question is, how prepared do you think the sector that you work in is to face the same types of attacks, the same intensity of attacks that we've seen in the banking industry?